This is an oil observation video for a 2019 Ram with the 6.7 Cummins diesel or model year newer. Also, any 6.7 Power Stroke 2017 and newer. Bottom line up front with the 19 Ram 6.7 Cummins. So far, my truck seems to like Shell Rotella T5 10W30. For those of you who understand what I'm talking about when I say I'm very in tuned with my vehicle, right? You know what I mean. Those of us who know our vehicle, who work on our vehicle, we don't just drive them and then whatever, right? Let the shop do all the work. Like we work on our own trucks. We work on our own vehicles. We can take it apart, put it back together. For people like us, we know when an engine is running good, running okay, and like when it's running really bad, like it's sick. Like, okay, like, dude, you got to fix me, okay? For people like us, we know what it means to be in tune with our vehicle. And I can tell you right now, my 2019 Ram 6.7 Cummins likes the Shell Rotella T5 synthetic blend 10W30 motor oil. Now I did a video on the 2017 Ford F350 6.7 power stroke. I tested my observations only. Uh, Motocraft 10W30, Valvoline 5W40, and Rochelle Rotella T6 5W40. For the power stroke, at least in my observation, it seemed to have liked the Rotella T6 the best. Now, with the RAM, my observation is T5 10W30 from Shell Rotella seems to be the best oil. Okay, so there's the bottom line up front. Now I'm going to go into the analysis. If you want to stop the video, stop the video now. Otherwise, you're going to listen to me blabber on for the next, I have no idea how long, okay? All right, so I ran on the factory oil up to 4,724 miles. I changed it out with Rotella T6. Then I drove on that oil for around, I don't know, 4,100-ish miles. And the truck seemed to do well on T6. But it, it ran smooth. It did well. However, the engine just felt like it was it had a hard time pushing the oil through all the little crevices in the engine. Does that make sense? And let me explain something also. These newer trucks require 10W30 or, in extreme cold, a 5W40 full synthetic. Do not use... 1540 motor oil in these trucks. These, these engines are built to very tight tolerances. That's why they're switching over to a lower viscosity oil like a 10W30. So it can squeeze into these tighter areas and so that the engine isn't working hard to push the oil through and it can save on fuel. That's the whole point of moving the 10W30 to save fuel so the engine doesn't work as hard. If you use a 1540 motor oil, the engine's going to be pushing that oil. It's, it's going to be hard on the engine. PD Diesel Power even did a video stating that these newer 19 and newer trucks, they don't like 1540. Like you either stick with the 1030 or the 540, but you want it, and he stresses full synthetic. Okay. Anyways, for the, for the 2017 Ford Power Stroke and 19 Ram Cummins, you got to use 10W, the manual even says 10W30. Don't use 1540. Some of you old school people out there, look, I'm as old school as the next guy. I still listen to the music from the 1960s and 70s, okay? However, there's a time to be, uh, you got to change with the times, and there's a time when it's okay to live in the past, okay? But in this case, you don't want to live in the past. You want to upgrade. If the end, if the if the manufacturer says 1030 or 540, that is what you want to use. Do not use 10, do not use 1540. Okay. These engines are not built like they were back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Okay. These, these engines are much different today. Anyways. So after running on T6, sorry for that little blat, that little 
you know, rant there. At 8,859 miles, I switched over to Valvoline Premium Blue Synthetic Blend 10W30 because I wanted to see how the engine would perform on 10W30 oil. And the reason why I went with Valvoline Premium Blue instead of Shell Rotella is because, well, I already tried Shell Rotella, so let's try something different. Um, but Valvoline is endorsed by Cummins. That doesn't mean they pay Cummins to put their name on their bottle. They actually do. Cummins uses Valvoline to test their engines. Okay, they actually use the oil. Factory fill is Valvoline. Now, when the engines get to ram, who knows what they do? They may drain it and put shell in it. I don't know. But every Cummins engine that leaves the Cummins factory is factory filled with uh, Valvoline Premium Blue. At least that's what they say. Call, do some research, call them. Don't quote me on it, call them. Okay, and don't quote a friend who knew an uncle who knew a friend back when who did something. Okay, call them. Go to the source. Anyways, so when I changed it out to 8,859 miles, uh, some initial impressions were that the Valvoline Premium Blue 1030 is that the engine uh, liked this oil very much. It was, it felt better. It felt like the engine wasn't working as hard to push a 30 weight versus a 40 weight through its end through the engine. Um, However, there were some, Valvoline is a very thin oil, okay? And though the engine ran really well on this oil, there was still something about it that, I don't know, it, it, there, there were some instances at low speeds, the engine, I don't know, nothing bad, just uh, weird kind of feelings and sounds. The engine sounded a little bit different, you know, particularly when compared to the T6. Um, so when I actually came up to the actual oil change limit, right, 15,000 miles, I wanted to try something different. I decided to try Shell Rotella T5 Synthetic Blend 10W30. Oh, before I continue on, going back to the Valvoline, I called Valvoline and I asked about their synthetic blend. How much synthetic oil is in their synthetic blend? According to Valvoline, and you can call them on this, according to Valvoline, the premium blue synthetic blend oils have at least 30% synthetic oil. In the case of the Valvoline Premium Blue Synthetic Blend, it's a little bit more than 30%. Now that could that could mean anything. It could be 39%, it could be 35, it could be 30.2% synthetic blend. But the point is, it's 30% minimum of synthetic oil in their synthetic blend. That's a good thing. I've seen videos from Amsoil and a few others that claim well, you can't trust synthetic blend because they could just put one drop of synthetic blend in a one-gallon jug and then boom, right? They can call it a synthetic blend even though it has one drop. Yeah, that's very true because there's no regulation stating on how much synthetic oil they should, you know, these oil manufacturers should use. But Valvoline told me they they were very open about letting me know how much uh, synthetic oil is in their in their blends, and it's thirty percent at least. Like I said before, the premium blue for the diesel oil is a little bit more than thirty percent. Okay, so there you go. Now, the Shell Rotella T5 synthetic blend, I asked them the same question. They wouldn't give me num they would not give me a number. They didn't want and they don't have to. They didn't give me a number because they don't want me, you know, uh, they they were concerned that I could take the information and call Valvoline or whatever, right? So they keep it a secret. And that's fine. That's their prerogative, okay? Um but I, I at 15,004 miles, I switched over to Shell Rotella T5 10W30. I've put on about 400 miles so far. I haven't driven a lot because of this whole, you know, stay at home, you know, order here in North Carolina due to this coronavirus stuff. Um, but so far, the last 400 miles on this T5 10W30, the engine, in my opinion, seems to be running at its most efficient. Uh, it's happier on this oil. It runs good even at low speeds there doesn't seem to be that kind of like weird noises coming from the engine at low speeds like when i was running the 10w30 from valvoline um it doesn't seem like it's pushing hard to get the oil through like it was with the 540 t6 uh, and rotella and valvoline and i i've read this on other post too and i would agree that the rotellas are a little bit thicker oil than valvoline valvoline is just really thin but the rotellas the, are they're a little bit thicker um so the T5 so far uh, has been good. My engine seems to run better on T5. It's running at its most efficiently 
uh, or whatever at its on the T5 versus the premium blue and the T6. So my recommendation going forward uh, is I'm going to continue using Showrotella T5 10W30, and I recommend uh, for those who own a 6, 7, come in and do that 19 and newer, give, give Showrotella T5 a, a, a try. I mean, if you like Valvoline, go with Valvoline. I mean, in a sense, you can't go wrong with any modern oil, whether it's Valvoline, Rotella, Amsoil, Schaefer's, or whatever. However, at the at the price of um, availability, cost, uh, and so forth, like, look, I would love to run Schaefer's or Amsoil. Problem is, I don't want to oil. I don't want to order my oil. I want to be able to go to Walmart or go to the store and pick up Rotella or Valvoline at any time I want, not have to or order something, wait two or three weeks for it to arrive, okay? I go to my local Walmart. They got Rotella T5 and T6, like, stocked, and they got a lot of it. So I, I never have to worry about finding oil. Not only that, Rotella T5 is cheaper than T6, right? The T5 at Walmart was like $17 and like 57 cents or something. The T6 was like $22 and like 46 cents or something. Uh, now, it is very hard to find Valvoline Premium Blue 10W30. I can find the 1540 just, e just fine, but these engines don't require 1540. They require 10W30. Um, so with the Valvoline, I have to go to Napa. I don't like Napa, but I have to go to Napa to get the Valvoline Premium Blue 10W30. But the point is, is I can find these three oils at part stores or the or my local Walmart, Walmart anytime I want. Versus ordering AMS oil or Schaefer's, okay? Uh, and like PD Diesel Power have said, look, if you're not towing like he does, I'm not talking about towing like your travel trailer or the Ding Ding, right? Once in a blue moon, okay? If you're just running around, going to work, you tow occasionally or whatever, these motor oils off the shelf are just fine. For people like PD Diesel Power who hot shots and they're towing 15 20 30,000 pounds every day for hundreds of thousands of miles then yeah i would probably want to use either valvoline i mean uh ams oil or shavers probably shavers uh but for your average joe shell rotella or valvoline or dello is just fine so anyways that's about it Summary, Shell Rotella T5, 10W30 gets the win for me. That's the oil I'm going to continue to use. Um, but in the end, they're all good oils. You'll be just fine.